Four psychiatric hospitals have scary stories. Psychiatric hospitals have long been associated with fear and horror, often depicted in movies and literature as places of torment and despair. However, it is important to recognize that not all psychiatric hospitals are the same. While some may indeed have old wards that provide a different atmosphere, it is crucial to understand that the perception of these institutions can vary greatly. It is true that certain factors contribute to why psychiatric hospitals can be considered scary. One such factor is the existence of heinous acts that have occurred within their walls. These stories, often sensationalized by the media, can create a lasting impression of fear and unease. However, it is essential to approach these stories with caution and objectivity. While there may be instances where past events have left a dark mark on certain psychiatric hospitals, it does not define the entire industry. Many modern psychiatric hospitals prioritize patient care, safety and rehabilitation. It is also worth noting that advancements in mental health treatment have led to significant improvements in how patients are cared for within these facilities. Therapeutic approaches and compassionate care are now at the forefront of psychiatric hospital practices. In conclusion, while some psychiatric hospitals may still carry an eerie reputation due to their historical context or isolated incidents, it is important not to generalize this perception across all institutions. By understanding the complexities involved and acknowledging the progress made in mental health care, we can move towards destigmatizing these facilities and promoting a more accurate understanding of their purpose in society. Summarized from nightmare vignettes, here are four psychiatric hospitals that are considered scary. Before watching this video, don't forget to support our channel by pressing the subscribe button, turn on the bell and like. Number 1. Sai Ying Pun Psychiatric Hospital Nestled amidst the vibrant cityscape of Hong Kong lies a place shrouded in mystique and eerie tales, Sai Ying Pun Psychiatric Hospital. This institution, boasting a century-long legacy, has become the stuff of chilling legends, earning it the dubious distinction of being considered one of Asia's most spine-tingling hospitals. With roots dating back over a hundred years, Sai Ying Poon Hospital's history is a tapestry of enigmatic episodes. One particularly haunting chapter saw it fall under the control of the Japanese army during the tumultuous days of World War II. During this dark period, the hospital was repurposed as a prison camp and execution site, adding a sinister layer to its already haunting past. For locals and intrepid souls who dare to venture near the hospital's eerie premises, tales of ghostly encounters abound. It is said that the very air around Sai Ying Pun carries the whispers of tormented souls, their voices echoing with desperate pleas to them to remain among the living. The stories take a ghastly turn when reports emerge of a spectral figure clad in traditional Chinese attire. This mysterious entity, upon making eye contact with unsuspecting individuals, is said to emit flames, leaving witnesses bewildered and terrified. The identity and purpose of this fiery apparition remain shrouded in obscurity, leaving a trail of unanswered questions and unnerved souls in its wake. In hushed tones, the locals have affectionately bestowed upon Sai Ying Pun Psychiatric Hospital a chilling moniker, the Haunted House on High Street. This foreboding title encapsulates the enduring fascination and fear that this place holds in the collective imagination of the community. But beyond the tales of apparitions and eerie phenomena lies the untold history of Sai Ying Pun Psychiatric Hospital, a history filled with the complexities of human suffering resilience, and the lingering echoes of wartime horrors. Exploring the enigmatic past of this institution reveals not only a tale of supernatural intrigue, but also a reflection of the enduring scars left by a turbulent era. As Sai Ying Poon Psychiatric Hospital continues to stand as a silent sentinel on the high street, it challenges us to ponder the depths of its enigma. It beckons us to peel back the layers of folklore and explore the rich, complex history that lies beneath. In doing so, we may uncover not only the secrets of the past, but also the resilience of the human spirit in the face of darkness and despair.
Number 2. Taunton State Mental Hospital Desolate in the annals of history, Taunton State Hospital casts a long shadow, bearing witness to a dark past that continues to intrigue and disturb. Once a mental hospital for those condemned to the death penalty, it was a place where doctors held an unsettling degree of control over their patients. In the name of medical progress, they conducted experiments that crossed the boundaries of cruelty and inhumanity, all in the quest for a purported miracle cure for mental health conditions. Within the echoing halls of Taunton State Hospital, some have whispered tales that veer into the realm of the macabre. Stories abound of doctors who allegedly engaged in sinister practices, with rumors suggesting that patients' bodies were used in chilling satanic rituals. The veil between fact and fiction in these narratives is thin, but the lingering unease surrounding the hospital's history cannot be denied. Adding another layer of intrigue are the notorious residents who once called Taunton State Hospital home. Lizzie Borden and Jane Toppen, two infamous female serial killers, are said to have spent time within its walls, their presence casting a haunting pall over the institution's history. Yet the mysteries of Taunton State Hospital do not end there. Many have reported inexplicable phenomena within its confines. A foreboding force, seemingly invisible, guards the entrance to the basement, as if an impermeable barrier stands sentinel at the bottom step. Doctors and nurses have recounted eerie experiences of feeling thwarted by an unseen presence, preventing them from venturing further into the abyss below. As night descends upon the hospital, a chorus of spectral voices pierces the silence, imploring visitors to depart, or emanating primal, animalistic roars that evoke the impending threat of an unseen malevolence. Shadowy figures known as shadow people lurk in the dimly lit corridors, their spectral forms darting in and out, striking fear into the hearts of anyone brave enough to enter this foreboding realm. The enigma of Taunton State Hospital persists, beckoning those who dare to delve into its past and grapple with the chilling tales that have woven themselves into its history. Beyond the whispered rumors and eerie encounters lie the remnants of a time when the boundaries of ethics and humanity were blurred, leaving behind a legacy of unanswered questions and spine-tingling mysteries. Number 3. Old Changi Hospital in Changi What is now the abandoned Changi Hospital was first built by the British government in 1935 to complement other military installations like armories and barracks in Changi, which was then an area with a large British military base that was intended to defend the eastern end coastal areas of the Johor Strait. While the name Old Changi Hospital may not be widely recognized in the Western world, it looms large in the collective consciousness of Asia, infamous for its spine-chilling reputation. This hospital's unsettling history dates back to a tragic chapter during World War II, when it served as a Japanese prison camp, etching deep scars into the annals of its existence. In the throes of the war's brutality, the Japanese military turned Old Changi into a harrowing crucible of suffering where anyone even remotely suspected of being anti-Japanese was subjected to unspeakable torment. It is said to have housed the ominous headquarters of the Kempei Tai, a notorious faction of the Japanese secret police, responsible for heinous acts that defy comprehension. Whispers of beheadings, rapes, dismemberments, and other unspeakable horrors swirled around Old Changi Hospital during those dark days. After the war, the hospital was returned to British control and continued to serve as an army facility for several years. However, those admitted within its ominous walls often reported experiencing an inexplicable sense of foreboding and terror. The haunted reputation of Old Changi Hospital extends beyond wartime atrocities. Visitors and occupants alike have recounted eerie encounters within its confines. Disembodied voices echo through the halls while shadowy apparitions drift surreptitiously from the corners of rooms. Many have awakened with an uncanny sensation of being watched by unseen spectral presences, their fear palpable. Accounts of physical encounters with the supernatural are not uncommon. Some claim to have been pushed by ghostly forces, 
while others have described encountering a woman shrouded in an eerie black aura. Nightmares plague the sleep of those who dare to dwell on the hospital's grim history, with visions of torture at the hands of uniformed tormentors haunting their slumber. The pervasive unease that lingers within the walls of old Changi Hospital is a testament to the enduring legacy of anguish and despair that once permeated its halls. It is a place where the horrors of history have left an indelible mark and where the line between the living and the spectral often blurs. Even the medical practitioners who tread its eerie corridors are not immune to the disquiet that this enigmatic place harbors. Old Changi Hospital stands as a chilling reminder of the darkness that can envelop the human soul in times of conflict and adversity. Its haunted past beckons those who seek to confront the phantoms of history and wrestle with the unsettling mysteries that continue to haunt its forsaken halls. Number 4. Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Psychiatric Hospital The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, nestled in the heart of West Virginia, is a place that carries a chilling history, etched in bloodshed and despair. Its very origins are tainted by the spectre of violence, with Civil War soldiers meeting their untimely demise on its grounds, long before the asylum's construction and layout were fully realized. As time wore on, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum became a crucible of darkness, shrouded in an unsettling aura. Infamous for its overcrowding, neglectful staff and the suffering of countless patients, it became a symbol of the grim realities of institutionalized mental health care. Among the spine-tingling stories that permeate the asylum's history, one of the most poignant is the tale of Lily, a ghostly presence that is said to linger to this day. Lily, a young girl in spectral form, is believed to be in search of a playmate, forever trapped in the realm between the living and the departed. However, not all apparitions at Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum are as benign as Lily. Enter Ruth, a restless spirit who, according to local lore, harbors a deep-seated grudge against the community. Her ghost is described as violent and vengeful, with reports of frequent harassment by her spectral presence. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum serves as a somber reminder of a bygone era when mental health care was marred by neglect and suffering. Its history, steeped in tragedy and despair, has left an indelible mark on the collective memory of those who venture into its foreboding halls. It is a place where the line between the living and the spectral blurs, where the echoes of the past continue to reverberate and where the stories of those who endured its haunted history linger in the shadows, waiting to be heard. <laughs>